What's up, Rockheads? And welcome back to a new episode of the Rockstar Rehab. Never that name has been so fitting, as you can see. Not my best side. Uh, I went under surgery yesterday at this time of recording, as you probably saw on my Instagram stories. <clears throat> it went well. Um, they could fix everything they needed to fix my meniscus both of them my ligaments restructure and re reconstruct i'm still a little bit loopy i'm still on morphine lightly so the pain goes up and down but it's not too bad i might go out today but it's not sure because i need some um, knee brace and they aren't sure about uh, delivery because it's a day off here in switzerland so we will see if not i might have to stay until monday i don't really want to so we will see it really depends as well how much i can walk so to speak i have got my crutches and everything i already tried with the um, uh, physiotherapist a few year, um, few hours ago uh, because my entire right foot is still really numb i can't feel anything so it's really hard to pace myself and know how much weight I put on because I should not put more than 10 kilos on my right leg at the moment. Um, I might show you right now uh, my... I still have everything. <laughs> I might show you right now my new knee. It's a little bit gory, so it's not for everybody. But I've got scars like all over like a big U here and here because they slice up on both sides. It's red like that due to disinfectant, so no worries. Uh, they're going to redo the, um, the patch like every, uh, twice a week, so I will have to go back to the hospital for that as well. They want me to start uh, physio like uh, in mo at, uh, during Monday if possible, but I'm not sure. We'll see if I can have an appointment three times a week. Would be great. Um, still unsure about that as well. And yeah, that's about it. Um, I've been sitting in this bed for the past 24 hours, pretty much, a little bit more. I stood up once and it was not great. So luckily I have my badass phone, my badass friends all over the internet, and I have a lot of time to kill so I can catch up with some YouTube series. I was uh, late on, I can chit chat with friends from all over the world. Thank you so much to everybody who reach out to just like my story and everything. Love you all. Um, shout out to Nick in Singapore, shout out to everybody in Portugal who wrote to me, to my buddy Maxim who wrote to me. I don't want to name everybody because I will forget someone and I don't want to. So thanks a lot for that and uh, I will keep you updated as soon as possible. I don't want to shoot every day if it's the same as this. Every time there is something new, um, I will let you know about. I just learned as well this morning that I will have to... Uh, inject myself every day for two weeks with uh, anti-inflammatory it's not a great view it's a really small syringe but still really fucking weird to just like pinch your leg or your your your, your belly and just pack yourself uh, it's not painful it's just a little bit not comfortable to watch and to do but you gotta do what you gotta do i guess uh yeah need to move i need to get things moving as well Pain is getting a little bit better. It was not that great an hour ago, but no, I'm okay. So I hope it stayed that way. And stay tuned to say what to see what's next, I guess. Thanks again, everybody, for the support, and I talk to you soon. It is the second night uh, at home. I'm finally back in my place. Um, the days are not too bad. I went to take my knee brace yesterday and all my uh, drugs, prescription drugs and everything. So I was out, walked and everything. It's not too painful. Uh, the nights are not great. Uh, the first night I didn't took painkiller because I was doing well. And I woke up at 2, 4, 5, 6 and 7 in the morning. So because my knee was bothering me, it's not really painful it's more like when you push on a bruise so it's more like bothering really than very painful so but i can't sleep so uh, i took some uh prescription drugs and uh last night as well and i sleep better i woke up at five and then now at seven but i've got some nausea i've got some um, uh, dizziness so it's not great i can choose between having some sleep or 
having I wanted to puke in the morning so yeah uh, today the program is I'm going back to the hospital they need to change the um, bandage and everything um, it's uh, normal it's just a uh, regular stuff they need to change it regularly so it's clean and check the scar and everything so I will let you know when it's done how it's been um, I've got another appointment on the on Friday, three days from now, normally. Uh, this afternoon, uh, tomorrow, and on Thursday as well, I have physio again. So I will do way, way less than last time I met my great physio, but we will see what he will torture me with. Uh, I still have some exercise like extending the leg or bending the leg. It's still a little bit hard. I can feel the scar, uh, so I have to take it easy, but I have to do it, so. We will see and I will let you know how everything went for today, later today. So stay tuned. All right, uh, I know the light is not the greatest because it's already dark outside. Today was great. Uh, the scars are healing well. Uh, they changed the bandage. Everything's look good. Uh, it doesn't bleed anymore. And then uh, it was physio time. Uh, he said my mobility is already looking good that early. I can almost already extend the leg. That's what they're looking for. So it was a good news as well. He put me on ice. It was really fucking cold. But beside my uh, daily injection that are not really pretty. I think I've got my needle around here. I just did one. It's a small needle like that. I have to stab myself in the leg or on the side of the abs. I only did the leg so far, but... It's an uh, anticoagulant. Uh, I have to inject daily for like two weeks, so not really comfortable with that, but I have to. Uh, otherwise, not too bad. Pain was great today. Nothing at all. We'll see tonight if I have to take another one, another pill to sleep again. But today was a good day, even if it will start to, sl um, to rain as soon as I left the bus. So, and I walk slow in the even in the rain. So. At least I didn't sleep, so not too bad. And I stay, uh, I, I will let you know what's next as soon as I've got some news. I'm going back tomorrow at the physio and then uh, three days from now uh, at the hospital for the bandage again. It's probably going to be the same, so I don't think I will let uh, tell you anything uh, new. Maybe next week uh, when they uh, put the stitches out, uh, I will tell you how it goes, but you will see what's next. Quick update, uh, still everything's fine, pain-wise and everything. I still have a giant knee, it's still really swollen. Pain is all right, mobility is all right. I still sleep really bad. I was up at like 4-ish, 4.30 this morning, same the day after. And I tried to get my both my knees in shot so you can compare. The giant fucking knee compares to the other one. I still bleed a little bit as you can see, but it's not painful or whatever. It's Thursday and tomorrow I will get my bandage changed so I can see under as well what it looks like. But yeah, it's still uh, really, really swollen. My foot are placed the same and you can tell there is a big difference even in, with the calves. The calves are still really big compared to the other. I need to get that swollen reduced as well. Today was rest day. I just got uh, my knee brace adjusted. So it's less pushing on the quad, so we will see what's next. Quick update at the physio. Uh, I'm currently on the ice machine. Um, just did some treatment, massage, and now they have the pressure plus ice on it. Uh, I had my uh, bandage um, uh, changed this morning. One of it's still bleeding a little bit, but it's nothing to worry about, it's normal. The rest is all right. Uh, the mobility, the colors, okay i'm still a little bit uh, quite bruised especially on the side uh, i don't look great because i don't sleep well but that's my only issue so far pain and everything and mobility is okay so i just need to get some rest i'm taking a nap in the afternoon so uh, i'm working around i know i have like the the two first weeks then they get the stitches out and then the two six the first um, um the first six weeks and then it's gonna be better I can get rid of these, but it's going to be for like four weeks from now. So I'm going to have to take my time and keep working on that. All right. So it's the first weekend post-surgery, uh, really up and down. 
The night between Friday to Saturday was amazing. My best night of sleep yet. Woke up only once, took a light painkiller and get back to sleep for another four hours. So uh, Saturday I was full of energized and really rested. Uh, the night between Saturday and Sunday was absolutely shit. I woke up like three times, two, three and five in the morning. Took painkillers, was really uh, high and sick to my stomach in the morning. So it was not great. Um, last night was okay, woke up only once, took my painkiller and get back to sleep so I can rest a little bit. Uh, I've got one of my stitches still bleeding a little bit, but at least the rest still okay. Uh, it's still a little bit stiff, I try to move it the most I can, but I still need to do a lot of physio at work, as w uh, at home as well, moving the knees in every direction and everything, getting better and better, I put some ice on it and everything. So we will see on the... Um, on the second week post-surgery, uh, on Tuesday I change the bandage again and on Friday I should change the bandage and normally I have the stitches out, so we will see. It is Sunday, um, it's been two weeks and two days since the surgery. Uh, last uh, Yesterday was really shit, I don't know if you saw my post on Instagram but I had a lot of stuff going on in my private life. Uh, while everybody was wrestling or being at the festival, so it was rough. But last night was decent, uh, almost in one go. Only woke up once. Um, I getting my painkiller lower and lower dosage, so I should um, not need them to, to sleep soon enough. And uh, I get my stitches out last Friday, uh, so two days ago from shooting this part. And uh, I could get the bandage out if I want uh, today or tomorrow. So it's getting better, it's taking time, uh, starting to get bored and really want to wrestle and do stuff, but I still have like four weeks of crutches to go. So it's gonna be a long road, but today is a better day than yesterday and tomorrow will be better as well. Just have to keep on going. This was the first part of post operation vlog. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching it. And stay tuned to see the evolution and what's next. And as always, stay rock and roll. Rockstar.